Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I just want to apologize that I'm only putting this video out on the 3rd of December. I really didn't have any time um, before this to, to do this video and I really uh, wanted to use the energy of healing to, to do more healing work in this last week. So it's been an amazing week for healing and uh, to be able to uh, bring more goodness and, and more love into this world and I've spent most of my time just doing the healing uh, component of my work. I also want to say that uh, for the month of December I've uh, carved out some space to be able to do some pick a card readings and so please go ahead and leave whatever um, uh, requests you have in the comment section of this video and I will uh, do my best to shoot all of them. Ideally if you could leave your requests before the um, the 15th of December that would be great and I will start um, uploading pick a card readings not every day but just um, a couple of times a week uh, at the very least. Okay and so I hope you are all doing well and uh, for today's um, for, for December's pick a card uh, reading or monthly oracle card guidance, uh, we have the runes uh, oracle cards, we have the Chinese fortune reading cards, and we have the angel answers oracle cards. Now I wasn't sure if I should bring this deck in into this, this reading, but um, I kind of was called to do it after putting it away. And so I've decided to go with it. So there must be some message for some of you out here for coming from this deck. So go ahead, it's option number one, two and three. Go ahead and make your selection and we'll get right into the reading. Okay, and so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're using the runes oracle cards. We're asking what is, what can we expect in the month of December? What can we expect in December 2023? What can we prepare for in December 2023? And what do we generally need to know for the month of um, December Okay, so this is, is quite a month for you, for those of you who've chosen the option number one. We start the month with Hagalas, um, which is a hailstorm. And as we move through the month, we have Algiz, which is strength and, and sharpening your your uh, resources. And then we have Tiwaz, which is uh, a card of uh, ambition and, and, and going for something. And then we end the month with Attila, which is... A card for nobility, a card for family ties, a card for what is important for you in your in your life. So I think it's quite an interesting time for you. So let's just begin here with Haglas. And basically what we see is that as you enter the month of December, which might have occurred already, is that you have had some um, something that stirred you, something that is out of the ordinary that's come in and disturb the balance. Now, I think that when you see Hagalas in a reading, one one could be afraid of it. One could actually think, oh, you know, something bad's going to happen. But a hailstorm comes in and clears out that which is not meant to be there any longer. And so you always have, after the storm, you have this fresh new beginning. And so I think that the beginning of December for you is actually a time where you might have come to some kind of realization. You might have moved something, something, somebody might have said something to you, which would, or you might have received some news, which has led you to feel like your world has maybe come apart or has caused some kind of um, discord in your world, in your world. And um, what's going to happen is th there's going to be a resolution to that and you're going to be able to come out of it and you're going to find that you have, as you go into the second week of December, you're going to find that you have quite a lot of strength 
and you're going to find that you're able to move forward in a way where you are taking into account your physical, your mental, your emotional, your your spiritual well-being and being able to bring all of that into balance and taking your tools and sharpening it, just ensuring that you are ready, prepared and available for what happens next. Okay, and so I feel that Whereas in the first week of December, you might be weathering something. In the second week of December, you're going to be well on your way to be able to be productive and to be able to uh, prepare for something, prepare for something that you are expecting as you go along. Now, as you come into the third week of December, for some of you, you might be traveling. For some of you, you might be going somewhere. But I see it as a card of ambition, a card where you uh, have a, a goal that you've pre perhaps been preparing for here in Algiers. And you are you have a goal that you're working towards and you are going headstrong um, towards it. You are flying towards it. You have quite a lot of um, energy and strength to be able to, behind you to be able to push you forth. And you uh, the questions that rise in the third week of December are very much about what is it that is important to you? What is it that you're willing to fight for? How is it? What is it that is what you're fighting for, uh, going, sorry, let me just uh, re-articulate that. How is it that what you are fighting for going to assist you in the future? I think also for Algiz, um, yeah, in the second week of December, some of the questions that might come up for you are, how is it that uh, I'm best able to be, to a able to use what it is that I have at hand? How is it that I'm able to uh, give a hundred percent of what I am doing. Am I giving a hundred percent of what am I doing? Or do I always have some kind of excuse for something? Or do I always hold back a part of myself? Am I giving all? Okay, is the question that comes up for some of you in the month of uh, the second week of December uh, of 2023. I think as we come to the last week of December, the questions of family that come up, the questions of your ancestry, the questions of your, your ties to family. Um, where does your nobility come from? W what is it that has been passed on to you um, through your ancestors that is perhaps traditional or cultural? And where does it play a role in your life today? And how does it play a role in your life? Is it worth it to invest in relationships with regard to family? Um, how is it that investing in relationships with family ultimately impacting you and then also the realization that you can't quite divorce yourself from family there is something which ties you to family regardless of the space or distance you put between yourselves and so how is it that you you reconcile yourself with that in the beginning of the month we have something that affects you that might be coming in from the outside but it affects you and so you quite it's the first three weeks of the month is very much about you and your internal world and your individualistic qualities. So in you have then, you move on to strength here. And then we move on to the card of ambition and being able to overcome obstacles here as well. Being able to weather yourself in rough seas and come out strong. It's all about your own passion and your own ambition and your own drive. And as we come as we round up the year, what we have here is you're looking not just as to what is inside of you, but what is outside of you, what is around you. And you look at what's important to what's around you. So I feel like as we begin the month of December, you're going to be doing quite a lot of very important work on yourself. I think the energy support that it supports a kind of renewal. A, a really interesting renewal. These last three months have been really great for healing and doing the kinds of work of bringing more love and, and more peace into this world. And even though the outside world hasn't really reflected that, it's been very much about the inner being, having come to peace with oneself and one's own actions and to be able to bring that peace outside in the world. So um, this time has been very much about healing and love and, and bringing that forth. And I think that these cards here also really talk about the work that you have to do within yourself to maintain that peace, to maintain that strength, to maintain that focus and that orientate that goal orientation that you have in order to be okay with yourself before you bring yourself in contact with other people, before you bring yourself, you know, in the greater context of, of life with your family, with your community, 
with the extended family, with your work, in, in your work environment. So how is it that you can really take care of yourself first? And what is it that you need to do in, in order to take care of yourself so that you can actually show up and be there for others? Okay. So I think that's uh, very much the, the, the energy of your December. It's very much about you looking after yourself, you dealing with whatever it is that you might feel defensive about and then um, actually sharpening your tool set to be able to you know prepare yourself for whatever it is that does come out there and then to be able to go out there and face the world and and to conquer that world and then you know come back home and understand what is important to you all right so i wish you all a fabulous december may you have very happy holidays and may you have a very wonderful festive period i'll be back with more readings as the year draws to the end and i will drop in a couple of pick a card readings in the month of december so all the best to you and abundant blessings to all thank you and so for those of you who've chosen the option number two we're asking what is it that we can expect in december what is it that we need to look forward to in December? And what is it that we need to be warned about in December of Okay, so for those of you who have chosen the second option, uh, we are using the Chinese Fortune reading cards. And the first week of December promises you wisdom. So you might be able to come to some kind of conclusions, come to some kind of realizations, be able to recognize something that you haven't been able to recognize before. And somehow the first week of December for you, or perhaps even the last week of uh, November or parts of the last week of November has been very um, enlightening for you and you're going to find that you're able to take this newfound wisdom and be able to create peace in your life in some other way that allows you to enjoy your life a little bit more so the key word here is is to find that happiness find that lightness and to be able to to really enjoy life again this this enjoyment is is actually the key word so um yeah, so I feel like in your first week of December, it's going to be all about that. It's going to be about deep thought, about reflection, introspection, uh, thinking about things and how they could have been done differently, thinking about things and how you could take uh, action to change it so that there could be a more positive outcome for all involved. And um, as you move into the second week of um, December, you have paradise. And so I feel like, you are able to create and to give yourself whatever it is that you need in the in the week of uh, December, the second week of December. I think also, you know, what does paradise actually mean for you? You're going to find that whatever paradise means for you, you're going to be able to have that. You know, for some people, it's about lying on a beach and, and being in some kind of um, warm tropical environment. For others, it's just being able to have some time for yourself. For others, it could you know, be looking after yourself, uh, taking care of your grooming yourself, uh, or just to be able to work in an environment perhaps that is uh, fun and or, or not stressful. So however paradise, whatever paradise is for you, you're going to find that you have some inkling of that at least the very least in the second week of December, and you'll be able to create that for yourself. So I think the second week of December is very much about you asking yourself, what does paradise mean for me? And how is it that I can create that for myself? And how is it that I can create it for myself right now? Um, because it, not every one of you can uh, is able to actually just get on a plane and go to some kind of tropical paradise, uh, you know, and if, if that's your idea of, of paradise in the first place. But so you need to know how you're going to be able to create that environment, perhaps at home or perhaps in your own world, in your own inner world, perhaps in your own mind, um, you know, telling yourself and feeling more abundant 
uh, telling yourself that you have all that you need rather than having to search outside for it. So whatever way in which you are able to, you're going to be able to access that paradise in the second week of December. And whether it is actually taking yourself there or creating it in your home environment or creating it in your mental space, you are going to be able to have that feeling of paradise in the second week of December in some way or the other. And I want to say for some of you, it might not be the whole week. It might just be that you have that for half a day or even like 10 or 15 minutes and you think, oh, this is paradise. And this is what the month, of, the second week of December promises you. Okay, as we move into the third week of December, we have the sun. And I feel here there's quite a lot of, some of you might be moving to the sun as in moving to a place where the, it's going to be more sunny as opposed to wintry <laughs> and dark. Uh, for some of you, it could be that certain realizations are coming to light that bring you a feeling of lightness and, and, and joy and, and warmth. It could be something similar to wisdom. It could be that uh, as you enter the third week of December, you receive some news that makes you feel that way. And or it could just quite literally be that you're flying to the southern hemisphere and you have actually sunlight that you uh, that you're going to be able to enjoy more than some of us have here in the northern hemisphere at this moment. And so I think that uh, the, the sun could also be a warmth that you feel in your heart, that you're actually feeling more loving, that your heart is open and you, your cup is full, you're able to give and receive love. Uh, because remember, it's not just about giving, it's also about being able to receive that love. And I feel that in December, the third week of December, you are going to be able to get that balance right if you have been struggling with that. And it's just going to be able to give you a vitality and, um, and some kind of, um, you know, happiness in a way that you haven't been able to experience in a couple of weeks now. So I think that the third week of December is going to be a very warm time for you. Uh, excuse the pun, but it's going to be a really nice time for you. You know, a, quite a wholesome, good feeling of, of well-being and happiness is going to uh, uh, reach you in the th third week of December. As we come down to the, the last week of December, the card is Karma. And um, it is the number 16, in case you're wondering. So it's a it's a card which asks you to address yourself in terms of what it is that you have done and how and what are the consequences of that? Um, what are the repercussions of certain behavior that you might have, um, um, you know, you might some behavior from the past? It could also be asking you to look at the behavior that you're about to uh, commit to that and how that would um, result what 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 repercussions will result from that in the future so I think it's very much about understanding that uh, this world has a balance and that balance will be created regardless it doesn't need to happen in the space and time that you calculate your world in but it does happen. And so I think that we can be conscious of that in terms of what may have happened or what will happen or what is happening. And another way in which this card can be read is that it might simply be that you are needing to balance something within yourself. Perhaps there's been some extravagances here on the third week of December that you need to pay attention to in the fourth week of December. Perhaps there needs to be some... Um, balance in terms of what you're ingesting or or what it is that you are exposing yourself to and uh, because perhaps you know this is such a jovial card you could have been partying a lot eating a lot and as you come into the fourth week of December you might find that you need to spend a bit more time um, under the covers or behind the blinds and just be able to take stock of yourself or to be able to eat healthily or to be able to just establish a better sleep rhythm. So, um, for you know, that doesn't apply to all of you, but that's a suggestion that this card is also making. It's also understanding and coming to terms with the fact that life has its beginnings and its endings and being at one with that, being okay with that and not um, grieving it necessarily. So it's about understanding the wisdom of the planet and, and the universe 
which you would have had access to here as well in the first week of December. And just being able to come to terms with that and being at peace with, with that, understanding that you are on a surfboard of life and you have to do your best that you can and that there will be times where the... Um, that life will give you something that you don't actually feel comfortable with or you can't actually enjoy. But that is part of the course of things. All will be balanced out ultimately because we have the karma. OK, and we have what is what, you know, what you give out is what you get back in in some way or the other. And not might not be direct in that fashion, but it certainly does come to bear. So I think also questions that you might want to ask yourself as you come to the end of December is, have I been fair? Have I been kind? Have I been uh, generous? Um, and um, yes, and if you are having some difficulty in that last week of December, I think perhaps look at whether there's something that you still need to do within yourself to be able to effect and attract uh, ultimately better outcomes for yourself. All right. So I wish you all a very wonderful December from paradise and sun and wisdom. I feel that you will have a fabulous December. Karma can also be a very good card. It doesn't have to mean something bad. It can also mean that um, you've given quite a lot and you're receiving quite a lot at this time, but you have to be able to receive. You have to be open to receiving. And uh, yes, and so I feel that uh, December is going to be quite a jolly month for you, uh, even though it might start off on quite a uh, um, an introspective level and it's going to turn out to be quite a, a, a beautiful month and I wish you all a fabulous abundant December and many many blessings to you all and uh, see you co um, with more videos in the month of December as well as shortly before the new year and happy holidays of course many blessings to you all and for those of you who've chosen the third option, we are using the Angel Answers uh, Oracle a deck by Dorian Virtue. And um, I actually want to say that I, I wasn't sure about this deck. And I, I took it out and I put it away because it's not really the ideal deck to use for an Oracle card guidance. It's more if you have like one on one questions. But um, I felt drawn to pull it out again. So I think there's some of you out there who might want to have use this deck and might choose this option. And so this reading is very specially for you all. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this deck, we are the third option. Um, we have the first week of December, you have a resounding no. And no doesn't mean no forever. It can just mean not now. Try again later. Okay, so I think that and somehow in some some in the beginning of D December, also towards the end of November, there could be a feeling that you, there might be some kind of rejection, uh, quite literally. Um, there also could be something where you've kind of thought you're going along a particular path, but in fact, you've just realized it's not the right path and you're able to turn around and move away from that. So the first week of December is going to have you dealing with what is the right way to go ahead and what isn't. Where is it that I'm wanted and where is it that I'm not? What is it that I need to accept and 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 move on from? Or what is it that I need to not accept and just fight for. And so those are going to be the types of questions that you're going to be dealing with in December. And I think in the first week of December 2023. And I feel that um, you are being supported with all of this. You know, you have this angel here 
that's supporting you. And so I think you are being guided, you are being supported as to what is right and what is right for you, that is, and what isn't right for you. And um, and so you're going to be encountering something in the first week of December where you need to walk away from it or you need to move away from it. And that's actually going to be OK. It's going to be absolutely fine that you do that. It would be the will be the best thing that you can do for yourself. And so I think that um, that uh, in that respect, December uh, starts off in a, in a way that is quite clear for you as to what you need to be doing and what it is that you don't need to be doing. OK, as you enter the second week of December, we have the card of recovery. So perhaps it's recovery from the first week of December, uh, from what it is that you were re rejected from, or perhaps it's simply recovery from the last few months where there might have been some kind of neglect or some kind of, um, you know, leaving things by the wayside, not looking after oneself. It could just be a few weeks of doing that or a few days, but I feel like there's going to be, there's a recovery from some kind of neglect or it could be a recovery from some kind of news that you've heard. It's about just going in yourself and and praying and and actually feeling the warmth and the love of the universe and oh god uh, however you whatever you believe in and uh and just being able to feel that force around you and and holding you and just being able to give yourself the time that you need to recover and and give yourself what it is that you need what is it that you need at this moment in 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 the second week of december what is it that you've needed for a long time that you haven't been giving to yourself and how is it that you can better take care of yourself how is it that you can better love yourself what is it that you you can do for yourself that's going to help you to to just give more of yourself you know to be able to give um, um a little bit more of yourself to you for yourself you know like where is it that you are perhaps making some excuses and not able to actually do something for yourself that needs to be done so i think that the the second week of december is very much about that kind of energy and as you come into the third week of of december you are ready and the card is that's what it says you're ready so you might be ready to go somewhere you might be ready to deal with people you might be ready to take a holiday you might be ready to stop working and just being able to enjoy the festive season uh, it might be that you're ready to move on from something from something perhaps you are now ready to move on from this thing here which has caused you a bit of grief or a bit of uh, sadness disappointment um, so now you're ready, you moved on in the third week of December and I think it's going to be quite a, a, a feeling of a relief and like almost like a rev revelation where you just kind of landing from something and uh, like you've been in a cloud for some time and you kind of just like almost arriving when you come into the third of uh, December and I think it's going to be quite good for you. So whatever it is that you want to do in the third week of December, you're going to feel ready to do it and I think you should just go ahead and, and do it without hesitation because uh, the card here is stating this is your confirmation. This reading is your confirmation that you are going to be ready in the third week of December. And then as we come to the end of December, the last week of December, we have big happy changes. And isn't that amazing? What a wonderful way to end the year with big happy changes. <laughs> That's such a lovely card. And I think that you, you're going to just be able to be in a joyous mood. You're going to be able to celebrate some things. You're going to be able to take care of certain things or things have have been taken care of in a way that results in a very positive outcome. And I think that there are going to be some, some, I feel like for some of you, it's going to be some drastic changes. Like, I don't know, I just get this feeling like some of you might spontaneously well, one of you at least will spontaneously get married <laughs> at the end of December. Um, or it could be something that uh, something happens that makes you very, very happy. Something which uh, brings change into your life. It could be that you you change your abode. You it could be that you you change a certain t a relationship that you have, or something has shifted within a particular relationship you have with a loved one, uh, and. It's something that you can truly celebrate. You can truly celebrate the um, the year that has been and the year that will be. And I feel that there is it is a it is a card of celebration that and it's a card of celebration after you've been through all the stuff here. So I think that having you have even more to feel happy for 
okay so that you are i feel like you could also be hearing some good news you know it's almost like you're either hearing some good news somebody surprises you with something somebody gives you something that's quite significant to you and um or something changes in within a relationship where it's like a gift to you you know perhaps somebody's been kinder to you perhaps somebody's speaking to you with more respect than that they have previously um or they somebody perhaps somebody's given you a wonderful gift uh, over the holidays that actually makes you feel quite happy it changes your life you know it gives you a new start to something perhaps there's a hobby that you'd like to um, engage in that that somebody has gifted you the tools for and so I think that um, that there's going to be something really positive that happens for you in the last week of December and you're going to be ready for it in the third week of, of December. And I think the first two weeks of December is just about nursing yourself and looking after yourself and just taking the best care of you because nobody else can, you know, only you can take the best care of you. So just finding out what is it is that you need and how it is that you can give it to yourself. And remember, you don't always need something from somebody else. You can give yourself what you need. You don't need that love from somebody else you don't need them to give you something you can create it and take care of yourself you can find the resources within yourself to be able to create what it is that you need in the material world or in the physical world so go in to yourself here in the second week of December and find that for yourself now of course this doesn't have to happen in that order necessarily but I feel that for most of you it will and I wish you all a very fabulous December happy holidays to you and good luck as you go ahead and I'll be coming back to you with more readings before the end of the year okay blessings abound to all of you